on our screens right now a next piece of breaking news as we'd already told you the supreme court was set to pass its orders on the prime minister's security breach that took place earlier this year in punjab while congress was ruling the state we know the matter is being heard by a bench headed by chief justice of india nv ramana ssp avneet hans failed to do this even though sufficient force was available we'll try to give you more details on exactly what the supreme court has had to say on the entire story uh, we we'll bring you more details and more context in this and more updates in just a second from now the court is reading out the report as we speak as you can see they are saying the punjab police failed remember the committee was set up to, to, to probe two aspects Firstly if there was any criminal conspiracy in the in the entire incident and secondly to probe the role of Punjab's police officers now we have the first statements coming forward from the Supreme Court itself we'll share what these developments are my colleague our political editor Maria Shakil is with us right now to bring us more context on what the Supreme Court had to say Maria over to you Yes that's right so the court is clearly saying that as far as the government of punjab is concerned and they have much to explain um, the ssp failed to discharge his duty and the ssp is avneet hans is what the court is reading the report and it's saying avneet hans failed to do this even though sufficient force was available and even though he was informed 2 hours before that that the prime minister will be entering the route and then the court has said that we'll be sending the report to the government of india for taking action so what really had happened remember on january 5th when the prime minister was traveling to punjab there has been a massive uh, security be- breach and the home ministry had set up a three member committee to probe the security lapses in the security arrangement uh, there were serious lapses that had come to the light um and concerns were raised that if the everything was known that because there is whenever the prime minister travels uh, the security is multi layered uh, and particularly he was traveling to a state which has had a history of militancy that is the state of punjab uh, you know prime minister's travel gate was grounded leaving him stranded for 20 minutes on a flyover about 30 kilometers from husainwala after a blockade by some protesters the prime minister had returned without attending the event that he was scheduled to event uh, scheduled to attend and uh, the home ministry then had set up a three member committee to probe the serious lapses in the security arrangement um, and a uh, question was raised on the spg arrangement um, and was this entire security breach deliberate um was there some instruction that had come from uh, Charanjit Singh Chani's government because he was then the chief minister of the state of Punjab uh, in January just to put this in context and explain the timeline to our viewers the supreme court had appointed a committee which was headed by former uh, a former judge uh, justice indu malhotra uh, to probe if there was a larger criminal conspiracy and also to probe the role of the punjab police officers the supreme court had then if i remember correctly said that these questions can be left uh, to one sided inquiries and a judicially trained independent mind duly assisted officers will be able to put this in context and a comprehensive report be submitted the top court had also directed the registrar general of the punjab of punjab and haryana high court to provide the committee with all the documents that were seized uh, pertaining to the security arrangement that was made by the punjab government on january 5 uh, while the central government if you remember the central government the bjp had blamed the congress for these lapses the state government had maintained that the prime minister uh, have, was given uh, an alternate route at the last minute because of these protests that had erupted now the court which is reading this report is clearly highlighting the lapses has essentially said that avneet hans who is the, who was then the ssp he failed to discharge his duty does the buck stop with only him or will the court be looking at the role of officer senior to him particularly also perhaps if the instructions were ca- came from uh, the top office that was the chief minister's office what about the dgp of the state and other officials what about the spg because the special protection group which protects the prime minister which protects that which provides that security ring to the prime minister all those things 
um, in the security armor of the prime minister was exposed. And that is the reason why this becomes very, very crucial, because uh, prime minister had traveled uh, to Punjab in January, or, uh, January, but that was full-bound Punjab then. But it raises the larger question of if there was a criminal conspiracy, who really had this conspiracy? Uh, Maria, thank you. I'm going to go over now to my colleague Arunima, who's with us also for more context on this entire story. Arunima, we also know that the same committee, it was probing two aspects. Firstly, the role of the Punjab police officers, which we've just shared with our audiences what the committee had to say. But they were also probing if there was any criminal conspiracy in the incident. Do we have any details over there? So far, the court has only indicted uh, the Punjab police. Uh, the, the SSP in charge has been severely indicted by the committee which carried out the probe. Uh, saying uh, that, you know, uh, there were enough forces available. There was a two-hour notice available, so there was enough time available uh, for the local police uh, to ensure that the route was sanitized. Why this is important is because Punjab police and the Congress party, which was then in charge of Punjab, Charanji Singh Chani was in the saddle at that time. What they had alleged was that there was a last-minute change in the Prime Minister's plan. Uh, he was initially supposed to fly down to the rally venue, and last moment his plan was changed, and therefore it was uh, found, uh, the police was found uh, deficient in ensuring that the protesting farmers did not get on top, top of the flyover. However, the court-appointed committee has found that the local police were informed two hours in advance. That's enough time for them to sanitize the route. Why were these protesting farmers on that route? Uh, because the protocol is very clear that when the Prime Minister is traveling, A, before he travels, the alternate routes are, uh, you know, made available, they are sanitized, um, and the local police with SPG and other security agencies uh, carry out an uh, advance, uh, um, you know, liaison as well of that route. That was not done. Uh, farmers were not removed. Uh, so the local police is severely indicted. The SSP has been named. What about the concerned DGP? Because the DGP himself was named by the central government then for uh, misleading the SPG. Uh, so has the committee said anything about the DGP? They are referring the matter to the Ministry of Home Affairs. Will there be any note on then DGP, Mr. Chattopadhyay, is something that remains to be seen. Uh, but this definitely is an indictment of the local police that they have not done their job well. Okay, Arunma, stay with us, please. Our colleague Ananya Bhatnagar, who's been at the Supreme Court, he's covering these details from us. He's been bringing us uh, pieces of what the, High Court, uh, the Supreme Court had to say live right now. Let's go with him to understand more. Ananya, could you bring us more details about what the Supreme Court had to say? Well, yes, the Supreme Court read out the report that has been submitted by uh, the, uh, the committee that was appointed by it. Remember that Justice Hindu Malhotra, a retired judge of the Supreme Court, was heading this committee. And clearly, it has found uh, discrepancies with regards to the lapses in the PM security breach. Clearly, naming Avneet, uh, who was the SSP Firozpur at that point of time, saying that he did not uh, follow the proper instructions given to him by uh, the PM's cavalcade and, in fact, the security officers of the Prime Minister. And, uh, in fact, uh, it has also been said that this person had, uh, in fact, not taken action even after knowing that uh, the people were a, a, a very, very short distance away from, uh, in fact, the Prime Minister's cavalcade and, hence, a major security lapse happened in the security of the Prime Minister. In fact, uh, while uh, the judges were discussing uh, the committee report, it was also uh, noted that the, the committee has suggested that there has to be certain changes in the blue book and officers who are deployed in VVI, uh, the local police officer who are deployed in VVIP duties shall be given out some extra kind of a training and sensitization of these officers is also necessary. However, it is very, very clear at this point of time, as the committee report also says, that SSP Firozpur failed to discharge his duties even after constant instructions from the PM's cavalcade and the security of, uh, officer of the PM, which is Mr. Nageshwar who was constantly giving him instructions, but then, but uh, in fact, he could not uh, take these instructions properly okay. Ananya, and just could stay not with us. manage uh, the things even after having Ananya, a just proper. Stay with